How y'all doing? It's Papa again. <laughs> and I reckon it's the last part on this little Harbor Freight trailer. I've done all I'm gonna do to it. And uh, I want to take just a minute or two just to answer some questions for you. Once I shut up, there'll be about a two minute and 39 second uh, quick video showing the last steps I did in tying the corners together. And I reckon that technique has been done for a hundred years. I mean, it's real simple. You just use door hinges or whatever kind of hinge in the pen then. You pull the pen and you can take your sideboards off. I uh, uh, actually had to grind the shoulder a little bit on the pen so they wouldn't lock in there and be easier to pull out. Um, I've had some people ask how much it cost uh, now that I've done all this. And if you go to part three and look in the comments, I believe one guy asked and I had listed it all out. And I had guessed the sideboards at $50. And the, the lumber ended up being 67 and change or 62 and change. And then I bought these carriage bolts and as another, you know, maybe $8. So roughly set and the hinges. So, and the hinges is like a dollar and a half a piece. So about, just about $75 in the sideboards themselves. And that's not bad. They're good looking sideboards. But, uh, uh, would I buy this trailer again? Yes, I would. I uh, I like it. Uh, one one of the boys says, does the tires and the axle come with it? Yes, yeah. Everything comes in your kit except the wood and them carriage bolts I use to attach it. And, you know, the, the deck and the sideboards does not come with it. Everybody, everything else is there. Them little flimsy fenders, even though Dana told me trailers he, he gives me crap about these puny fenders. They are, they're cheap, they're cheap, but you get what you pay for. I just needed something to haul a lawnmower around. Bunch of people said to me, oh, Papa, all you gotta do is back up onto the trailer. I can't back up onto the trailer. The trailer won't stand up for me. <laughs> you know, if I raise the front end and turn it loose, it comes back down. So I'm sure somebody's got an idea out there to tell me how to, how to keep that front end up, but hell, that's what I got ramps for. The other guy says, well, Paul, Paul, you're going to flex that metal and you're going to, you're going to break your trailer. You're going to, you're going to warp it because he said it flexed two or three inches whenever I was driving up and down on the ramps on the, one of the videos, I forget which one. So I might, I might weld me a, uh, a uh, oh, I can't, uh, be like a piece of tubing in a piece of tubing, a pipe in a pipe, whatever, with a hole and, and a nut welded on it and a thumb screw where I can, where I can lower a leg and then tighten it. And then that would support the tail end of the trailer so it wouldn't give any. And then when I get ready to leave, I loosen the nut, I raise the, pipe up and tighten it back down. I don't know. Who knows? I can't just do a pin in it like in a cheap set of uh, jack stands because you don't know where the ground's level. You might be sitting over a hole or something. So it's got to be something adjustable. I'll look into it. If I decide to do that, it'll be on another video. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk too long because we got a drawing coming up and that'll be in a, a video I'll put out later later today. Uh, I'd hope to get my yard mowed, but dead gum, it rained yesterday and it's raining again today. So I ain't no telling when I'm going to get her done. Anyway, there's the trailer. I like it. And, uh, I, I do appreciate so much that y'all, I appreciate so much that y'all have, uh, stuck, stuck through me, stuck through with me here. Or stuck, stuck, stuck with me through on. I sure am glad y'all watch my videos. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there it is, and thank you very, very much, and I'll let y'all watch a video now.
y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.